you can earn up to five big packs for FC25 just by playing FC24. Thanks to preseason, we have available an 80 times 10, an 82 times 10, an 82 times 5, an 81 times 7, and an 84 times 5. Now, you're probably sat there thinking we're getting 85 times 10s every day. Who cares? But at the start of FC25, these packs usually come in pretty close. And with these packs coming in on October 10th, it's just over two weeks if you pre-order the Ultimate Edition from when you can first play, and it's about a week and a half from when the standard edition of the game comes out. These packs will undoubtedly help your ultimate team journey an absolute ton. For, for nothing, for free, just by playing FC24. So without further ado, let me show you the objectives and how to complete them quickly. All right, so the first thing you don't want to do, and this is before doing any objective, make sure you do this first, because this is important in my opinion. Go to Evolutions, go to Road to FC25, and pick a random player to Evo. It might help if you pick a player from one of the nations or leagues from the Road to FC... Uh, or for the club, sorry, um, objectives. It might help if you pick one of those sort of league or nations because you can obviously use them and you get a good card out of it. But just pick one of these cards. A card goes to the 99 rated for about six games. It's really easy. It really is. And you get an 81 times 7 in FC25 for doing it. So you might as well go and pick a random gold card and stick them into the team. Now, the reason why I say they do this first is because you can do this alongside doing other objectives. So it's pretty easy. Go and find a random player, whoever you want, make them into a 99 rated card and stick them into your team straight away. All right, next up, we're doing the For the Club 1 objective. Now, this one is really simple. It's just a little bit time consuming. You just have to score in three separate matches with a player from these leagues. You need four players from each of these leagues in your squad so you can do two at a time i just went in order i went premier league la liga then i went Serie A bundesliga then i went league un um i would recommend like i said picking your evo player to one of these leagues as well because it makes it a little bit more simple um but you don't have to do that it's just if you want to do that of course you can do that but the other bit of advice i would give you for this is pick an attacking formation and put your players in attack right so if you're running Premier League La Liga, run a Premier League striker and a La Liga striker. I can't tell you how annoying if you're doing this online it is. If you put all your La Liga players in midfield and defence and all your Premier League players up top and then you're like, I want to try and do two in one game. Now I've got to try and run a midfielder all the way to attack or I've got to run a defender all the way to attack. It's really annoying and it is stupid as well. Just don't do it. Put a player from each league in attack. And you, like I said, you can do two of these at the same time that makes it three games each. So in total, you're just playing nine games. If you can score a goal with each of these leagues in every single game, you'll do nine games in total when you get this one ticked off. This one took me about an hour in, in, in Div Rivals. You can do it in Squad Battles or Champs. I did it in Div Rivals because I was already a low division anyway. Um, and you also get an 83 plus player pick in FC24. But for this, you get an 80 times 10 in FC25 and a new base hero loan player pick as well. I want to say it's for seven games. It might be more. I don't really know. I don't think EA confirmed how long it'd be, but you get a base loan player pick as well. So it's all right. A base hero for free for a few games and an 80 times 10 is the important one. That'll get you a bit of fodder at the very, very least. You might get lucky as well. So I recommend doing this for about an hour of your time. Now, if you're clever, you can link it up with For The Club 2. And by doing that, you can use four English Premier League players and four Spanish La Liga players at the same time and you're doing for the club two simultaneously. So like I said, if you're doing Premier League La Liga run, I don't know, you maybe got the uh, showdown Hosselu and team of the season Harry Kane up top. He's Bundesliga. That was a bad one. Maybe team of the season Watkins or something like that. Uh, you can run an English Premier League striker, Spanish Liga striker, and as long as you've got three other Spanish and three other English Premier League and La Liga players in there, you can do both of these at the exact same time. So you can theoretically get both of these done for an hour of gameplay. Of course, it might be a little bit more annoying because uh, you will have to find like, I don't know, four Dutch Serie A players or four Dutch Liga players, something like that, right? Like you're gonna have to find uh, some Dutch players in there that play for a different, um, a different league. But you can do them at the same time and you can get for the club two done at the same time, which gives you an 82 times 10 and a base icon loan player pick, which for me an 82 times 10 is actually really good for the 10th of October. For two weeks into the game, you're getting yourself an 82 times 10. To me, that it seems a little bit OP and I kind of actually don't like EA giving us all these packs early in the game, but as long as they're there, I might as well help you guys get them as well because it's not fair that we all get them and people maybe weren't playing fc24 maybe missed out on it didn't see it so i'm trying to help you guys as much as possible so, so far you've done for the club one for the club two and you've done the road to fc25 evolution you've got an 81 times 7 and 80 times 10 and 82 times 10 for fc25 already that's already a really good pack opening but there's two more that you can do here to get yourself some more packs so these ones are a little bit more um 
complicated and unfortunately if you haven't already started one of them you aren't going to be able to do it which is really annoying the pre-season crafting upgrade ea kind of screwed us a little bit with this now if you complete this spc 100 times you get an 82 times 5 in fc 24 excuse me an fc 25 you get an 82 times 5 which is a good pack for completing this 100 times you also get some packs in fc 24 and the lucy bronze that you can use um i don't think anyone really cares at this point about getting the pack to all the lucy bronze but you can get them uh for also completing it but the main thing is the 82 times 5 now the reason why this is a bit tricky uh, and a bit annoying and EA kind of did his over a little bit with this one is you can only complete this 75 times it was re-upping every Friday for the last two weeks you got you'd get another 75 uh, pre-season crafting upgrades to complete if you didn't do 25 of these or more before Friday you cannot get this now you might be sat there thinking why are you telling us about this if you can't get them it's just for the people that have already completed some of their crafting upgrades I wanted to wait until every objective was out to make this video. I don't think it makes sense talking about objectives if I didn't know what they were or when they come out. So now they're all out. I can talk about it. EA being EA have made this expire in six days and there's no more repeat. Like there's no more re-up of this. So you aren't getting 100 done if you haven't already completed 25 of these before Friday when the last refresh happened. There's nothing you can do about that. It's, it's unfortunate. I will say an 82 times 5... It's probably the second worst pack you can get here. So it's not the end of the world. If you go and complete for the club, for the club two, Road to FC 25 Evolution, you're already getting three really good packs. So it's not the end of the world if you do miss out on 82 times five. I know that FOMO kicks in. I'd be annoyed as well. Um, but there's nothing you can do about it. I would say just kind of, you know, hold it, I guess, and just it is what it is. But yeah, this is the this is the third objective. If you can do it, do it. Uh, I know there's obviously pale tools and other sort of tools out there. You can get this done really quickly, whether you be in the web app or whatever. Um, but it's super easy. I think it's literally like, what, two rares and four non-rares or something. Oh, sorry. It's one rare, 10 non-rares, which is a little bit more than I thought. But if you've got, if you've been doing the 85 times 10, you've got a club full of high rated. I'd recommend just going and throwing them into exchanges when you run out of players. And you'll get loads of players back from the 51 player packs and just do it that way. It's super easy. The grind is so easy at the moment. And now for the big boy pack, if you get to level 30 and 30,000 XP... In the season nine preseason season pass, I want to call it, or the season nine ladder, or the whatever you call this these days, the battle pass. I don't even know these days. Um, if you reach level not level thirty, the season nine preseason pass, you earn an eighty four times five in FC twenty five, which is a big pack. If you can get there, thirty thousand XP is not easy. There are some objectives out there that can get you some some more XP. So, for example, you get three hundred XP for every time you complete one of these. So you've got one thousand five hundred XP right there. Um, you get yourself, I think, is it daily play? Oh, sorry, the, the daily play completionist. You got another three thousand XP there. So you got six k, four point five k XP. Sorry there. Uh, you don't get any XP for completing those. Maybe there's some in seasonal. You got another two hundred. You got four fifty times five, which is what two thousand. 250 um so you maybe got like oh hello seasonal play you get xp for com for playing games here oh well you get a thousand per as well so what's that one two three four five six seven eight nine thousand xp for playing 65 games there plus a 25 xp reward that's that's amazing cheers ea uh you've got future stars awake as well which gives you another 1200 xp so you've probably got nearly 20,000 xp in objectives at the moment and you also get xp for playing games granted it's only like 50 xp for playing a game but you also get xp for playing games so if you've got the time i ah, it's tough i'd probably not recommend doing it unless like unless you're close already if you've been grinding already i would i would go for it but like I just don't want to sit here and say, go and play 65 games, get yourself 9,000 XP that way, go and do all the objectives, get yourself XP that way, just for you to get burnt out for the new game. I don't want that to happen because I know that it can be a little less fun at the start of the year if you're already burnt out from playing the last year all the way up until the end. So I don't want to sit there and give you that advice. But if you're close already or you think that you've got the time or maybe, like, I wouldn't recommend rubber banding your controller, but if you're going to do it, you're going to do it. I can't really stop you. Um, maybe you want to do that as well. Yeah, there's, there's all sorts of things you can do here to, to sort of get the XP. I would say the 84 times 5 will be a pretty good pack. Now, we will see, a, like, from share plays and stuff, we're going to see a bunch of people get their 84 times 5s and it literally be all 84s or a couple 85s. But you've got to remember, at the start of FC25, you will have some 84 and 85 rate cards that will be stupidly expensive and massively improve your team. Um, Eder Militao comes to mind. He's 85 rated in FC25 and he will be 
a couple hundred thousand coins. He will be one of the best CBs on the game. Kunde is another one, right? Like, they will be some phenomenal level uh, uh, CBs or there'll be some phenomenal level cards, Nico Williams and play players like that, that you can get. Phil Foden, all these kind of cards. I mean, Phil Foden's high rated now, but you know what I mean? Uh, that you can get that massively improve your team if you get a bit of luck, uh, even without getting like a 90 rated card. So... Yeah, I think it's probably worth it, but it is very time consuming. But if you can get all of the SBCs and objectives done, you can end you can end up on the 10th of October with an 80 times 10, an 82 times 10, an 82 times 5, an 81 times 7, an 84 times 5. That is a pretty big pack opening, I'm not gonna lie. Out of curiosity, I wanted to see what the packs looked like at the start of this year, because I've totally forgot what the packs were like uh, for preseason. So I just thought I'd go and have a look and uh, run the footlock upload of the video opening these packs he got an 83 times 5 and an 84 times 5 so i'm curious to see how good these packs were at the start of the year um i really do want to see so he got an 85 times 5 because they were glitched at the start of the year unfortunately maybe that happened again hopefully uh and he went and got himself a trend did he get a double walkout no he didn't okay so this is apparently an 85 times 5 he got himself trent i wonder if these packs are gonna be bad at the start of the year now Grealish daily owner battle yeah okay so his first pack not great. Not great at all. That's actually quite poor. Um, let me see what his viewers got then. What are we looking at? So this person got himself Danny Parejo. Got a double walkout though. Maybe got someone else good behind that. Griezmann. That's not bad. Griezmann, Haran. I mean, that's good fodder at least at the very worst. You got some decent SBC fodder there. I forgot that they were in 85 times 5 last year. Who did this guy get? This guy got himself Bernardo Silva and... Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz was not bad at the start of the year, to be fair. That guy's name was EA is awful. So Ruben Diaz wasn't bad at the start of the year. I actually remember using him myself. He was actually okay. Um, this guy got himself a promo card. What promo is out at this time of the year? Was it like Road to the Knockouts or something? Yeah, I think it was. He's got a Road to the Knockouts card. He got Bernardo Silva again, who seemed relatively common. And then he got himself Road to the Knockouts. Joao Pedro. That's a really good card, actually. That card was great at the start of the year. That's what gets me excited. It's like you can get these random gems. You, and, and Kante, who was genuinely good. Arujo was genuinely good as well at the start of the year. That is a very, very good pack for the start of the year. I mean, I don't know how much those cards would be worth at the start of the year. But that is a very good pack for the start of the year. This guy, did he get Ronaldo? Oh, this guy got Ronaldo. That guy got Ronaldo. This guy's got himself Osman double walkout with Ruben Diaz again. I mean, Osman at the start of the year is a good card to get as well. I mean, it wasn't as expensive as what they used to be. And this is the thing as well. Like, a lot of these cards, this is why these cards are not as expensive as they used to be. Because we're getting FIFA points for pre-ordering the Ultimate Edition. And plus, we're getting, like, these, car these packs as well at the start of the year. So that's what brings prices down. But... Getting a card like that on trade or getting a Joao Pedro, for example, I guarantee he was in that guy's team for a while because that was already a very good card and he got upgrades. So it's probably a nice card to have at the start of the year in your ultimate teams. Um, but looking at these packs, I mean, at the very worst, a lot of these guys are getting some good fodder. We're seeing double walkouts. Yes, you've got to remember these are 80 85 times fives and it's 84 times fives. They were bugged out. Um, that guy got De Bruyne, though, which was a great card to get at the start of the year. A week into the game, getting a De Bruyne is fantastic. Um, but these are bugs. So these will be a little bit worse than, than these because these obviously are 85 times fives. But it gives you a nice like look at what you can sort of possibly get at the start of the year. I know looking at these packs now, I don't know about you lot, but I'm kind of like getting quite excited now thinking, you know, getting some of these gold cards. It's, okay, Sadio Mane at the start of the year is class, even though he's like hard to link and whatnot. That's a class card to get at the start of the year. Um, and even some of these like 86 rated fodder cards, that Swanson as an 86 rated fodder card was actually really good at the start of the year. This guy's got himself a uh, conference league card. He's got Griezmann and somebody else behind that. Who are the conference league cards? There was one, was it Dodo? Or is that the year before that? Good sir. Okay, that's not great. 87 rated fodder. Rodrigo though. Rodrigo, that's a great pack. Rodrigo would be great to have. Foden would be decent as well, given the fact he's now an 88 rated card and he's phenomenal. Um, that card looks like it'd be a little messy, wouldn't it? But yeah, no, these packs, like, these packs, this has got me a bit more excited. This has made me kind of want to grind to get to the end of the season pass now. Uh, this has got me a bit more excited. But that's how to get all of the free packs for FC25. There's also, an eight, I think, an 83 times 2 in the Euros mode, but it takes a little while. It's if you can be bothered. I, I, think, it's, I think it's an 82 times 2 or an 83 times 2. It's like, you know, ugh, I don't know. But if you can be bothered to go and do that, you do that. It's completely up to you. And like I said, you don't have to go and do any of these. I Like, if you have the time and you don't have anything else to do, I mean, I don't see why not. But equally, like, 
who cares i mean yes some of these packs will be helpful but you've got to realize like by in no time at all it will be christmas and you'd already have a team that you can't upgrade right because that's how the power curve goes these days so whilst it'd be nice to get some of these car uh, some of these packs early like you probably won't care in a few weeks or months anyway so you're just going to be a bit regretful if you do none of these on october 10th when you're seeing like streamers and youtubers open all these packs and getting cool stuff and you're just there like wishing that you had them i know because the fomo is real whenever i don't do objectives and stuff and i've, I've done them this is my rtg account like i don't touch this account anymore i have done them on the main account uh, but this is like the account i haven't been on in a long time so yeah that's it for this video if you enjoyed leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new around here thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video peace